What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, well, we are back on our main account. We're gonna try to do something interesting with our two main damage dealers here. So, here's what I'm thinking. We, of course, have these Demon Bells. They have a 100% chance to give 20 energy. That means we have four of them with Demon Bells. That gives you 80 energy on a hero. Uh, but then it also has a 50% chance to increase by extra 10%. If we only run Demon Bell on four heroes, that's a pretty good chance that we'll get two of those four to actually hit energy and give us an active every round. So we're gonna try throwing in a second damage dealer. I know that sounds weird, but we're gonna go a second damage dealer here. Um, so we're gonna have a Mockman with like, you know, high skill damage, precision, high crit chance and everything like that. We're gonna build him very offensive, but we are gonna continue to use an antler skin on him. So we're gonna have two heroes with antler skins. Now, if they miss an active in like a, in like a couple rounds, is that going to be a big deal? And because of this, honestly, um, I almost feel like running this might be the better option. Because let's see, when we do, uh, where is it? The magic uh, explosion. We might be able to give like a lot more damage over to our Star Swordsman Mockman. So I'm gonna try and see how this does. Now, on average for the guild boss right here, we have Faith Blade. We do about 300 to 400 trillion damage with the full solo setup with either a Cruise or Rogan or something like that. Let's get in and try these because I wanted to get a baseline yesterday for what we had and then see what it does with two heroes with Giant Killer and insane amounts of damage. And there are three targets, which is perfect for Star Swordsman Mockman. So, of course, the first round is when it's going to get a little weird. It does look like the energy fade did work in round one because our Freya did end up with an active here. Um, and that should continue the chain kind of like you see. Let's count how many actives we're going to miss out on here. So that was one right there that we missed. That was the first round that we missed out on actives from our heroes. I'm kind of hoping this works out, but we don't know. We're going to need the extra energy to proc a lot. No. So that was two rounds already. So it's almost like every other round we won't get. Well, I mean, I guess Vulcan still will get an active a lot of these times. Because he has ways to get energy, you almost don't need a full energy feed for him, which is interesting. But again, there are going to be rounds that he's only going to hit with his basic. I'm intrigued to see what the damage is going to be like. Usually getting a full Demon Bell set up is going to be better. Um, and if that's the case, what we'll try to do is swap Mockman to a Demon Bell so he's not getting the stacking damage as much. But uh, we can kind of see how this works out. I don't think this is going to be the better option. I think guaranteeing an active on every hero is the best because that's also going to give us more uh, actives from our monster as well. And I just I don't think he's going to be the answer here anyway. If anything, maybe it's Lord of Fear Aspen instead. But I'm just intrigued because usually we don't use Mockman in like PvE boss battles. But this is one that would actually be good because there are three targets. My goodness, the game's actually like lagging up on me here. If you're seeing graphical lag, it's definitely from the game itself, the blue stacks. Holy cow. So he did get energy. Like Vulcan's not missing many actives, honestly. He really isn't. Because he's getting 50 energy when he maxes one of the one of the caps to his abilities, which is pretty solid. All right, let's see how this goes here. Let's see, let's see. One more round. We get an active from only him, Sally Mockman. Not going to hit very hard. Man, he does so much damage. <laughs> uh, I mean, he still hits a lot of times is the thing, though. Like, he still hits a lot. Let's see the final damage number here. It's more. It's actually more running a second damage dealer. Um, Wow. That was a surprising amount of damage. So essentially, uh, our Mockman <laughs> did more damage than our Vulcan, and he doesn't even have as much attack and power. He's, he's a few million short, really. Wow, I was not expecting him to be this good in this game mode. So that was like 500 trillion. So now that leads me to believe what if he actually had an active every single round? Like, hmm, hmm. 
<laughs> I don't know. Should we try like Vulcan with like a demon bell in this situation to make sure it feeds him energy? I don't know. We could try it. I'm I'm intrigued to see how this works out because Vulcan's still gonna do a ton of damage even though he doesn't have the antlers cane. Let's make sure the energy feeding is actually working properly though. I mean, we only have this one attack for today right now, but it does get him an active in round one. But that is gonna continue the trend and his core. I mean, maybe honestly, a lot of this power is coming from using Vulcan's core because it's actually giving a lot of extra attack to our highest attacker besides Vulcan, which is Mockman. So it's almost like Vulcan can be like, an additional support hero for the main damage dealer like ooh, i think mockman might absolutely crush this honestly i really want to see how this turns out because now we have the perfect demon bell feed as well so like we're not missing a single one and again we're giving we're giving vulcan or vulcan is giving mockman additional attack procs because of the core that's pretty insane honestly and he's still putting out some respectable damage too. But what it really is doing is giving Mockman more attacks. He's hitting those lowest HP targets more times. And Vulcan is getting an active every round. It's just he's not getting that stacking damage from the Antlers Cane for the later rounds. I'm intrigued. For some reason, I feel like this is going to be absolutely bonkers damage. Like, I know we just did like 500 trillion. I'm wondering if we're going to finally get close to that one quadrillion point mark that like we were doing on JC's account and like Rex Gaz and all the all the big guys out there that have the really insane things. I never I never thought about using Vulcan's core to boost someone who's doing more damage. And this is going to be insane, though, because, right, Mockman was only getting an active every other round previously. Now he's getting one every round except the first. Which, again, is pretty insane. <laughs> um, honestly, though, I feel like we might be missing some damage from him as well because we actually want him swapping between forms more often. So we kind of want to sublime the rest of his last tree branch to make sure he is swapping because all the rounds that he's in this ascending form is bad. We want him in descending form as much as possible. And when he's not, he's not doing nearly as much damage. I wonder if he's going to swap for these later rounds. Let's see. Did he swap? Oh, no. I don't know if he's going to end up back in the correct form by the end. That's the other really weird thing with this hero. It's like you, you need him in his offensive descending form so much more. Come on, come on. Please change. Oh, no. Is he actually not going to get swapped over? It's so hard because the damage coming from the Faith Blades is so random. It's not actually going to land on him. I mean, it's still going to be interesting to see how much damage he does, though. Let's see what happens here. Final damage numbers. What do you guys think? It is going to be... Less. <laughs> definitely, definitely less right there. Man, it was almost better with him just getting more basic attacks off. <laughs> yeah, Vulcan still being the main damage dealer. Um, So that's interesting, though, because essentially what we're going to be running in the future then is we're going to continue running you with uh, Antlers Cane and just letting them perform the way that they perform here. So, yeah, I guess so. I mean, his basic's not horrible either, so it's not like it's a downside. We would want to upgrade this tree branch, though um right here because you have more chances to like swap over and that means you'll get back to your state faster so that was interesting though a lot of damage from the duo that is our personal record on our account we of course have hit one quadrillion on others but uh we're halfway there so hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time